Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be using some of your guys' weirdest loadouts. So, so you guys have recently been leaving a ton of loadouts in the comments on my videos, which is cool, but some of them are just like unexplainably weird. Like you use some of the guns that I have not once ever seen someone use. And I'm going to be finding out if they're good or if they're bad and be rating them out of 10. Okay, so this loadout we got the M17. I mean, Overall, this gun has especially good hip fire, so I mean, you know, you could choose worse. Spaz 12, this is pretty much mandatory for pretty much any loadout. Then we got the Jewer 43, I think it's called. This gun is, it's decent. It is the best sounding gun in this game by far, though. But it doesn't, it's not exactly all that good, if I'm being completely honest. Then we got the SVD. The SVD is probably the best sniper, depending on who you are and what's your play style. Depending on... If you have Robux or not, this is the best non-Robux one, at least in my opinion. And then we got the Car 98. Pretty much the way you can think of the Car 98 is pretty much just like the Barrett, except with no scope. So, as you may know, like, I've only been using this for like a solid 30 seconds, and I'm already going on a tiny bit of a streak. Like, 3 kills isn't all that much, but it's, it's decent, you know? The time to kill on these guns is straight up in the negative. You just look at them and they're already non-existent. They just stop existing the second you even look at them with the car 98. There is no time to react. Like, even if this guy was a, like a certified pro, I just, no reaction time. The Jeward also kind of putting in the work, I'm not gonna lie. We are doing quite good going 9 and 0. This is like... I'd say a little bit above average, although let's see how good we can go before we die with this loadout. Because overall, I mean, we're getting them mad enough to nuke us, which is definitely a good sign. Holy! We are absolutely decimating all of them. Oh my god, the car 98 is definitely the star of the show. I mean, everything just falls behind it. This gun is absolutely overpowered for the medium ranges. Like... Bro, three body shots, car SVD, I don't know, the SVD kind of lacking, not gonna lie. Bro, what is this? Anyways, we died, we went 13 and 1, overall, really, really good loadout, although I feel like you could scrap the Jewer and maybe replace it with an automatic gun. You know, automatic gun's really useful. Anyways, let's try out the next loadout. Okay, and then next up, we got the loadout, which, I mean, overall kind of lacking i'm not gonna lie so we got the modded mk this is a great starting gun no recoil decent damage overall i mean you know you could do worse you could also do better though then we got the spaz obviously good choice the m1911 i'm not going to be the first person to say it this gun is not good many people have said it before and i mean there's no purpose for this gun i mean sure you can get kills with it and i'm sure i will be able to but like just come on, there is no purpose, there's no use whatsoever for this gun. There's always a point where you can use a better gun than the M1911. I'm not gonna lie. I have to say the hip fire on this gun is so unbelievably garbage. On that MK, although I have to say the 2x scope onto this, it really makes it insanely good. It makes it to like a better version of the M4A1 ACOG. If I could compare it to anything, but still, this loadout needs a sniper, I swear. No, that does not exactly do the most damage. Come on. Oh my god, that man is like a, he's an NPC, he is not a real person, I swear. Oh, we got this guy. And we got him. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I think the M1911's use is only really at close range. But how are you gonna have the M1911 and the shotgun in the same loadout? Just use the shotgun. Also, the accuracy is good, but that damage and that magazine size, it does not put in the work. Oh my god, I, there's like three people constantly shooting at me. Keep in mind, they're all like bots. Okay, we got one. And we got him. I mean, you need to get a longer range gun, like a sniper rifle, into that. I'd recommend the Barrett or the SVD. Uh, also, I mean, the M1911, get rid of it. No use. 
But now we're on to the last loadout. Okay, and the last loadout, I mean, it's decent. Although I did have to switch out the explosive sniper for the Barrett. So keep that in mind. I will take that into consideration. I mean, honestly, this is a decent loadout. I mean, I'm not going to say it's the best because I don't think it is. I mean, it's quite close to what I have. Although the Desert Eagle, no use for it. The Desert Eagle really isn't all that good unless you're going up against people who don't have armor, in which case it can one-shot. The Suppressed IA-12, I mean, this is decent at close range. I'd say it's one of the... Actually, it's not decent. It's really, really good at close range. It competes up against, like, the PPSH. But overall, is it worth it? Probably not. But, like, the Barret, or as I should say, the Explosive Sniper great guns i have to say although the reason i don't buy i haven't bought the explosive sniper is first of all because it's 30 bucks I'm not gonna blow 30 bucks on this stupid game okay well i'm probably gonna send out an oh what is this guy doing ah go away no 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 look at my health i have like nearly negative health okay get ah completely overpowered ah the okay so we got this guy and we got him. Honestly, that IA2, that IA2, I think I might be sort of, I think I may have to actually use that in my loadout. I mean, just the fact that, like, that hip fire, that was, that was, like, decent range. I'd say that was medium range, and I just beamed that guy. The hip fire on this gun is absolutely crazy. I think I may have to start using it. But anyways, now it's time to rank the loadout. So this one I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. Almost perfect, except for the Desert Eagle. Scrap this. Not really useful. Okay, now we're going to have the last loadout. That one's going to get a 6 out of 10. Honestly, the M1911, kind of useless. Also, how are you not going to have a sniper in your loadout? And now, last, but definitely not least, we have the first loadout. That one I'm going to give a 10 out of 10. Because they, they use the, I mean, the Car 98 and... No one's gonna lie, and I'm not gonna lie, Car 98 is probably the best gun in this whole game, just generally. It's just a Barret, but with iron sights, allowing you to one-shot at close range. I mean, honestly, that's a 10 out of 10 loadout for me. But anyways, that's been it for today's video, so make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.